Welcome back to Unwrapped. I'm Mark Summers doing the heavy lifting with a look at foods filled with protein. Everybody knows meat's a great source of protein, and since the 1920s, America's favorite form of meat has been this, the hamburger. In fact, according to the Cattlemen's Association, about 8 billion hamburgers were served in restaurants in 2003. But do you think you could finish a six-pound burger in one city? Well, we've got some people willing to give it a try, so uh, check it out. McDonald's has the Big Mac. Burger King has the Whopper. But in Clearfield, Pennsylvania, Denny's Beer Barrel Pub serves up a humongous hamburger dwarfing all others. It's the size of a human head. They call it the six-pound burger because it contains six pounds of protein-rich meat. But once it's complete with all the condiments, this massive meal actually tips the scales at 10 pounds. In fact, Denny's claims it's the world's largest hamburger. It's more than most human chicken, so... But consume they do. Denny's has sold 250 of these big burgers since they first hit the grill in 1998. We've had some real interesting people come in and order our burgers from uh, children to families. For $23.95, you too can take the challenge. And if you can eat the whole thing in three hours, the meal is on the house. In the six years Denny's has been making the challenge, no one has eaten the whole thing in the time allowed. But on this day, a group of eager eaters is stepping up to the plate. From the pros... I'm Marty Chowhound Chapman. I'm currently ranked 11th in the world by speedy.com. Speedy.com is the world of karma from Ohio. I'm actually the world's donor eater. To the amateur eaters. I'm putting all these guys in their place. I'm pretty hungry. I haven't eaten since yesterday. Back in the kitchen, Denny's Matt Williams prepares a pile of burgers for the pending pig out. We start with about eight and a quarter pounds. We add three eggs. And then knead it together like a like kneading bread dough. I try to get everything nice and smooth without any cracks in it. It drives some holes down through it. Just to keep it from blowing up. First, the burger bakes in an oven for more than an hour. Then, it's finished off on the grill. And to flip something this size requires special equipment. It's capable of flipping the whole burger in one shot. We've snapped several of these trying to do that. Cheese covers the burger, then relish slathers on a jumbo bun. Then a half cup of mayo, a half a head of lettuce, mountains of mustard, two entire tomatoes, a cup of banana peppers, a whole onion, <laughs> and finally, ketchup. And by then, the cheese is already melted, and you offload it onto the bun. And the trick is trying to flip the top without losing your tomatoes. And it gets a pickle spear for every one pound of ground beef. And that's the finished product. Plates of the beefy beauties parade out to those daring enough to dig in. Start your eating engines now. Everyone starts out strong, but soon jaws are aching and stomachs are suffering. I'm an ex-infantry soldier and a marathon runner. This is the toughest thing I've ever done. Soon, the chow hound throws in the towel along with the rest of the burger. It felt good and uh, I ran into a wall. I'm not the first professional here that's come here and fallen on his face, so I'm sure I won't be the last one either. In the end, no one is able to eat the whole thing, leaving the six-pound burger undefeated. The hamburger may be one of America's favorite foods, but this may prove you can have too much of a good thing. I don't want to see a hamburger again. <laughs>